are there. This is Tuxacher.com and in the today's episode I want to introduce to you an uh, alternative to Lightroom, at least the raw converter part. It's called raw therapy and is distributed in version 4.012 and let's take a look at it. Okay, first you can see a file browser, and that's the main advantage compared to Lightroom. You don't have to import any images. Okay, just lay, take one image as an example. I'll take this one. And it's loaded in the full screen view. On the left hand side you have the navigator which allows you to see where you are if you go on a hundred percent ratio. Okay, see like this. And as you can see raw therapy takes a while to be ready and render the crop. Okay, now I can move around. to set up where I am within the picture. Okay, on the right hand side you have the main development tools. On the upper menu you have the, the crop tool and the white balance. Okay, just go to the original size like this. You see here a status bar showing you what raw therapy is doing. Okay, first of all we can change like here the exposure. Just make it a little bit darker. Okay. And here you can see the development history or all steps you take in development are listed on this tab here. You can change contrast or brightness also on this tab, but we go to another one. We go to tone mapping. And if you disable this, you see it's according to the exposure settings quite of dark, but enabling this setting makes it sort of a HDR image so you can increase contrast and saturation. Okay, if we go up a little bit with the exposure like this. Raw therapy is not the fastest raw converter but you should give it a try because it has some interesting features. Just like the presets in Lightroom, you have a couple of profiles installed with the pro program. Let's just go to the punchy 2. This will increase punch, um, contrast and saturation. Okay, just see like this. And you always can take it back to the custom I did before. Okay, that's about exposure and tone mapping. Here you have the details like sharpening, which is very important for raw development. You can reduce noise on high ISO images by this menu point and change the settings for illumination and the contrast. The third top is all about color. Okay. Like as I mentioned before, the white balance or vib vibrance. If you take it out, you see it's a little bit dull. The fourth is the crop tool, also good for resizing the image at all before exporting. And the sixth one is the 
EXIF metadata of the raw image. Now all of these changes I applied to the image which shown up here in the history list are also saved in a sidecar files called pp3 as you can see here. So just for purpose of a backup you just backup your folder with your images and you're all done. You can save your image as a JPEG or TIFF 16 or 8-bit image if you like. Okay, do processing here with a JPEG 8-bit. And as you can see here, all the settings are applied to the exported images. Have to wait a little while. As I mentioned before, it's not the fastest raw converter. Okay, export is now ready and I can view the exported JPEG image within my picture folder as you can see here and view it with any other program. Okay, now we take a look at the preferences. You can uh, select if the uh, sidecar files are saved as single files within your image folder. And what's really important, you can define external editors just like GIMP or even Adobe Photoshop to further develop your image. Okay, this was my little introduction for raw therapy. There are a lot of opportunities within the program. Okay, it's not the fastest raw converter, but if you're starting with raw images, it might be worth it to try. If you like this little screencast, I would like to hear from you either within the comments or if you plus or share this article otherwise. Till the next time, ciao, tux auch.